remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Ogame Atuashe III has since been crowned as the 21st Olu of Wari Kingdom. But the controversy surrounding the Olu of Wari's tool appears far from over. Two suits filed by suspended Olubushare of Wari Kingdom, Chief Ayiri Emami, and Prince Oyowole Emiko, son of immediate past Olu of Wari, Ugame Ekenwole, challenging the nomination of Ugame Atua Shiri III as 21st Olu of Wari Kingdom are still pending before state high courts in Wari and Asaba. Chief Ayiri, in his own suit, is also challenging his suspension as Olubushare of Wari Kingdom by the Guinea One ruling house. When the suit filed by Chief Irie Mami came up for hearing at the Wari High Court on Tuesday, September 28, 2021, two groups from the Guinea One ruling house filed a motion for joinder, while Chief Irie's lawyer filed a counter motion. The court had, in its wisdom, adjourned the case to October 18, 2021 for further hearing to enable parties seeking to join the suit file their written addresses. For him, is to protect the interests of the of the Lubu Shere, AMIs and family descendants, that you cannot just come up and say you 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 have a, a suspended the Lubu Shere. It's a title owned by the family and not that person. So what he's in court is to protect the interests of the descendants yet unborn. The Shekiri nation is satisfied. If you see the aura of people here now, that shows that the Chekiri nations, we have taken a position and we have moved forward. There is no going back, forward ever, backward never. While Chief Ayiri Mami and other opponents of newly crowned Ugyame Atua III could not secure an injunction to stop his coronation on the 21st of August 2021, they have vowed not to relent in their quest for justice. The Shekiris, who are sympathetic to the cause of the suspended Olubu Sheri of Wari Kingdom, are said to be relying on provisions of the 1979 Chieftaincy Edict, which provides guidelines for the selection and installation of an Olu of Wari in their determination to have Ugame Atuashe III dethroned. Section 2 of the edict provides that upon passing away of an Olu, preference for his successor is given to a son, brother, uncle or grandson in that order. It further provides that in the absence of such relatives, any other relative who is a descendant of the last three Olus can be considered as possible candidate for the throne. The argument of traducers of the current Olu of Wari Kingdom is that he falls into the last category and should not have been given preference over other candidates that fall within the first and fourth categories of possible heirs to the throne. With reference to Section 4 of the 1979 Chieftaincy Edict, Opponents of the city in Olu of Wari Kingdom further submit that to qualify as a candidate for the exalted throne, an Olu's mother must be of a Shakiri or Edo origin. They are convinced, therefore, that the selection of Ugame Atuashe III was in violation of paragraphs 2 and 4 of the 1979 Chieftaincy Edict. I know what they have done is very wrong. We have a Bible which is the edit. They should follow the edit and do what they want to do. Nobody should shortchange anybody. We are just seeking a redress of uh, the illegality that has been done as regards our throne. I'm just telling the court to interpret the edit so that everybody can be aware. You can't be misleading people. However, Amechi Ogbushe Ogbona, who is secretary of the Wari Consultative Forum, argues that because the title of Ologbushere was originally unknown to Wari Kingdom, Chief Ayiri Emami's case is without basis. I want to respect the court. I don't want to preempt the court because it has the final say. But I want to say something. Ologbushere never came from Benin. It's a title based on proclamation from a regional defense. If proclamation can exist, I see no reason why the proclamation of Atua the second cannot exist of 2010 in its coronation anniversary. That is my presentation. From the foregoing, it is up to the court to grant the prayer seeking to dethrone Ogame Atua the third on the strength of the 1979 Chieftaincy Edict or rule in favor of the 21st Olu of Wari Kingdom whose ascension to the throne of his forefathers was facilitated by the will of the generality of Ishakiris. In whichever direction the pendulum of victory swings in this case, in the long run, both the winner and the loser will have to accept it in good faith. For as Nigerian lawyers will always say, judgment is delivered 
as the court pleases. Inside the Niger Delta, 